Hey everyone, it's Jenny Garcia from EarthyScrap.blogspot.com and EarthyScrap on Facebook. And this video is for the Tumbo USA and Lawn Fawn Blog Hop. So I'm gonna be using a bunch of products for both companies, starting with the new Twin Tones dual tip markers. And these are new and they are so awesome. They have a broad tip, they have this fine tip, and they come in two sets. This is the pastel set, there's a bright set. And I'm also going to show you my stash of Lawn Fawn goodies. So I love dye, especially for Project Life. I don't know why I prefer to use a manual die cutting machine to my silhouette or my Cricut. I don't know, it's just easier and I just cut a bunch of letters or stuff from it and I keep reusing it. And this is my chamois. And Kimberly in one of my videos gave me this awesome idea to put it in an iris case so it wouldn't touch my supplies and that was an awesome idea. Thank you Kimberly. These are my Tumbo adhesives, the Extreme, the Mini Glue Tape, and the Permanent Adhesive, Permanent Plus, and the Mono Aqua. I also show the new Mono Joint pens. They're new and they're pretty good. And I'm also going to be using a bunch of Freckle Fawn items. And here I have, this is an ancient, no it's not ancient, it's like three years old or four maybe. It's a Lawn Fawn 6x6 paper bag. And I have this uh, little ruler that comes in the Tumbo Food and Osuke calligraphy pen that I use to line up my alpha letters. And I'm just taking cards from journaling cards from Freckle Fawn and adding them to my pockets. And I have quite a few, so I wanted to use my stash, so I'm gonna keep looking for those instead of cutting more paper or using my Project Life cards because I thought about using Project Life cards but I don't like to mix cards that are, you know, with straight edges or curved edges. I don't mind photos to be, you know, straight edge but I don't like two types of cards in the same spread. And this is the Chamel 6x6 paper pad and I'm going to be using to this to back that those alphas. I use that to make my own alphabet die cuts and I use washi tape in those and that is the Finley's ABC dies. And I love it. It's a really cool font. And I'm just looking for something dark to back it out and that's going to be my title card. So I'm going to be using my Tumbo Power Mini Glue Tape to glue this like negative, I want to say negative side of this alpha die cut. And it's kind of busy so I'm going to try to keep my embellishments for this card pretty simple. And this is the Quince One Two Three stamp set. And there is a really cool font. You can color it or fill it out. I'm gonna be using the Tumbo Dust Catch Eraser to prime my stamp a little bit before I use it. And I like the stamp set because it almost looks like it has a shadow. And I really like it, and that's how I'm gonna use my chamois, and it's damp in there. Then I don't, I don't have to be afraid of ruining papers or put it in, on top of something. And I'm looking for a label to stamp my dates, and this is an old one from Pretty Little Studio, and it's purple. I'm trying to use a little bit of purple in this spread because lately there has been like a bunch of pro, not a bunch quite a few products in the color purple which is pretty unusual in the scrapbooking world. And I'm gonna be using the Tumbo Twin Tones Dual Tip Markers, that is a very long name, to just draw lines in the numbers instead of coloring them. And 
Okay, I'm gonna draw, draw a few le uh, lines that are different colors um, to make it look a little bit fun. It all almost looks like a notebook. I really like it. And since it's hard to glue things on top of washi, it's kind of a slippery texture, I'm gonna be using the Tombow Extreme Permanent Adhesive. And I wanted to use that, but it would, the busyness of the paper and everything would make the letters lost. So I'm gonna be using small words from this Tim Holtz um, sticker book. And these are from Freckle Fawn, these enamel hearts. They're really fun. And later I'm gonna be adding two letters, just a W and the K to indicate weak. And you're gonna see it in the photos. And I actually saw it in the first photo. So here I'm using the Tombow Fudenosuke calligraphy pen ruler to blind those letters there. And this week was my daughter's birthday, so that's what I wrote. Happy, happy, happy birthday and a special moment. And this is a floating embellishment. And I saw this in one of Adele Timmy's Inky Quill videos. And I really liked the idea and I made a mental note to do it. And I use the outside in stitch circle long cut. And it's just those circles that has like fall stitching. I'm gonna say fall, but it's not really. It has like stitch marks and it's pretty cool. And those super cute puffy clouds are the simple puffy cloud frames. And what I did when you cut them out, it comes, you know, with a little frame. And I did two colors, one light and one dark, so I can do the outline dark. And those hearts are an ancient lawn fawn heart and i have as you can see a bunch of them in different colors and they're felt hearts and i'm going to be using the mono aqua liquid glue to glue the frame to the little cloud and i wanted to add a word too and those little hearts are just so fun i have that whole box and i use them a lot and it's really cool. Just use a little bit of the mono extra liquid glue. Actually, it's the mono multi extra large liquid glue. And just a little bit, you know, you don't want it the, when you press the heart to seep through. You actually can leave it to dry a little bit, but you know, since time and I didn't want to wait, so I just glued it like that. And that is my little embellishment card with no that's a card with a floating embellishment and since we live away from family we had to sing happy birthday to my daughter with our family and our phones so i'm gonna write family using those freckle fawn alphas and i used the mono aqua liquid the mono aqua liquid glue to glue that acetate piece And I'm gonna use a Tim Holtz word because the other one, you know, you wouldn't see it if I use it because it's kind of transparent. And that's the photo. In this circle, I use the part around the cut to make a little window and I'm gonna be using those little clouds which are from the all on font 66 paper pad and since i went outside of the part that you know had paper i put washi in there to cover the paper because it's really strong and i didn't want it to get glued to anything and i'm going to be using another heart that i cut out from lawn fawn using um, felt and i'm going to add 
a chipboard word, and a little puffy camera from Freckle Fawn. And that purple paper is from Chamel. I'm gonna keep it super simple because I wanted to add more things, but I like how it looked like that, so I decided to stop, which is hard for me. I normally put so many things in, in a card and the whole spread too. And here I'm just gonna stamp the Queens 1 through 3 stamp set to my photo so I can journal on a different card. And the stamps that I have in use, I'm gonna be using the dust catch eraser so I can find the stamp. And here is the whole spread with the journaling and everything else. I hope you enjoy this video. If you wanna win a prize from Freckle Fawn and Tumble, make sure you check out the blog hop. Go to the Tumble blog, blog.usa.com.com to check out the details on the hop and see a bunch of projects from all the designers to get some ideas and get inspired. So thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. You can follow me on social media. I'm Jenny Garcia and on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest and Periscope and I'm Earthy Scrap on Facebook and my blog is EarthyScrap.blogspot.com. So have an amazing day. Thank you. Bye.